Hello everyone, Tokyo Cyclist here. Before I move on to the main topic of this video, which is my CAD 12, there's a quick word of warning. I made a similar video on my bike on a separate channel I made a year ago, and the reason why I have started uploading here on a separate channel is because there was a slight issue with the license of the music I was using. A lot of the opinions I gave on that video still holds. However, because a year has gone by since then, there are slight changes in opinion, especially when we have the CAD 13, which is the next iteration of the CAD series. The main topic of discussion was about why the CAD 12 105 is a perfect road bike for beginners, and that opinion does not change in this video. However, if money is not an issue, this video is not really for you because, of course, there are a lot of other bikes out there that are a lot better. So this is my pride and joy, my CAT 12. And yes, you will notice that the components on this bike is not the Shimano 105. However, I will explain later why the 105 is still relevant. When someone decides to get into road cycling, one important factor that should be considered is to what extent you're willing to dedicate to the sport in the future. I can ramble for hours and hours on how great the sport is, but I also do admit that interests do wane because people have different personalities, and in such situations, you wouldn't want to spend a lot of money up front by buying an expensive carbon road bike with the top of the end components. The other option is to get a cheap road bike and see whether you like the sport, and then you can buy a more expensive road bike down the road. I don't recommend this either because not only you will inevitably regret from buying a cheaper road bike, but it is also not very environmentally friendly. This dilemma was something I was facing when I was in the market for a new road bike. The CAT 12105 provides a nice balance between the two points. However, before I explain in detail why, we do need to discuss about group sets and components. So, CAD stands for Cannondale Advanced Aluminum Design, and the 12 stands for the number of iterations they've had on this model. The one after this is the CAT 13, which is currently available on bike stores around the world. Within the CAT 12 range, there were a variety of specifications you were able to choose from. The models were named after their group set, and the range started from Tiagra, which is a 2x10 speed group set, then up to 2x11 speed models, which are the 105, the Ultegra, and the Dura Ace models. The availability of these models differed depending on the market and the country. For the CAT 13, Cannondale decided to do something very different with their lineup, which I will talk about later. Many beginners may be confused by these group sets. A group set is an organized collection of mechanical parts provided by a specific bike component manufacturer. These usually include the cranks, brakes, front and rear derailleurs, cassettes, and the chain. Other components that are usually not part of the set are the bike frame, fork, wheels, and tires. There are three major manufacturers of group sets, which are Shimano from Japan, SRAM from the United States, and Campagnolo from Italy. Many beginners may also be confused to which group set to choose from, and it all comes down to how much you're planning to spend. To help you understand this better, let me give you an analogy. Choosing a group set is very similar to when you configure a PC when you are in the market for a new computer. For example, when you configure a new PC with better processors and more memory, your new PC will become more expensive. All computers, regardless of the configurations, should be able to achieve more or less the same task, just like bicycles. All bicycles have pedals and wheels, and they help you to get from point A to point B. But of course, if you want a faster computer for playing games, for example, you would spec your computer higher. On the other hand, if you feel you don't need the added performance, you would think a lower spec is enough for your needs. All of this is very similar when deciding which bike to purchase. In this case, a more expensive group set should translate to better performance. Also, these performance gains come from a variety of differences. For example, the materials being used in the components. Therefore, for those price-conscious consumers like me, we would need to think more carefully about which group set to choose, especially when buying a bike is a significant investment, and also considering that performance gains between group sets may not be very evident for the average beginner. Concerning all of this, now let's get into the reasons behind why I chose the CAD 12 105. The first reason is cost effectiveness. It is called the Cannondale CAD 12 105 because this model sports the 105 group set. This is your entry to the 11 speed tri train. If you look at other bike brands sporting the same group set, these bikes tend to be more expensive from 45,000 to 100,000 Japanese yen, more than this CAD 12. To my knowledge, Cannondale can price this bike lower than its competitors because of the frame material being aluminum rather than carbon. To put it simply, carbon is a lot more expensive because of its manufacturing process. Now, Cannondale has almost 30 years of experience with aluminum, so they know a thing or two on how to use this material. 
And just because it's aluminum, it doesn't mean it's slower than its carbon counterpart. The second reason is upgradability. The model below the CAD 12105, which is the Tiagra model, sports a 2x10 speed. Now, the difference between 10 and 11 all comes down to efficiency and having a much broader range of gears. Just like a car, bikes benefit from a low gear to accelerate from a standstill or to climb a steep hill. And at the other end of the scale, a high gear helps you to achieve high speeds. In the future, however, if you get into the sport, it is unavoidable you're going to start thinking about upgrading parts on your bike. Group set manufacturers develop their products with integration in mind, meaning they develop each component while making sure that it works well with the other components in the group set. When you upgrade parts on your bike, you do not necessarily need to upgrade the whole group set, meaning you can upgrade one component at a time. For example, you can upgrade the brake shifter levers only and still ensure that the rest of the components work in harmony. However, if you start with a 10-speed, upgrading to a 11-speed specific bike component may lead to compatibility issues. Because I did see myself getting more serious about the sport in the future, I thought starting from 11-speed was the right choice for me. As I mentioned earlier, the CAD 12 enables you to do this with a much lower price point compared to other bike manufacturers selling bikes made of carbon. And if with my current setup, yes, all the components are Shimano Ultegra, which is a lot more expensive, but I didn't have the money up front to buy the entire group set at once, so I was replacing parts little by little, and I had no issues mixing the 105 and Ultegra group sets together. It was only until a couple months ago I managed to replace the entire group set. The third reason is robustness. Just like any other sport, cycling does come with its risks and you need to anticipate the worst. Especially as a beginner like me, in my opinion, beginners are prone to mistakes, so it's all part of the learning process. So for example, if you crash while riding a bike made out of carbon, I will be a lot more concerned about a frame that is crap. I'm basing all of this on the reputation of aluminum, but I think it all comes down to good reason because if you read about crashes and pro races, you read more about broken bikes made out of carbon. The fourth reason is ride quality. Many argue that aluminum is a lot heavier and much harsher than carbon, which is true in most cases, but the weight of the CAD 12 rivals most carbon bikes, and in my opinion, the added weight from the aluminum does not compromise ride quality. And as I mentioned earlier, the equipment levels are much higher than on a carbon frame bike at similar price points. So therefore, the CAT12 should give you more performance for your money. So if you feel that aluminum might affect your performance, having better components might offset that concern. Furthermore, ride quality is very subjective. Yes, it does have a road buzz coming from the frame, which was also noted by many reviews online, but I kind of like it. I feel there is an excellent feedback coming from the road. And I haven't heard of any research that can quantify comfort between frame materials. And this makes sense because it can't. It's very difficult to numerically quantify comfort. Furthermore, comfort also relies heavily on bike parts other than the frame itself, such as tires and wheels. The fifth reason is looks. I know, this is very subjective compared to the other reasons I have outlined so far, but the CAT 12 still retains a classic look to road bike design amidst the growing trend of aero frames. I'm not saying that I don't like aero frames, I think they're cool, but it was really important for me to choose a bike based on how it looks. Yes, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. However, emotions do play a significant role in your performance. Even though I am a beginner, I still manage to, or I manage to ride faster than a lot of people out there with, with expensive carbon road bikes. And the feeling that you have when you pass these people while knowing you're riding an aluminum frame is really satisfying. So, I gave you five reasons why as a beginner I chose a CAD 12. Now the next question is, if you're a beginner, should you choose the 13 or search for a CAD 12 if, if it's available new? I have not had the opportunity to test ride the 13, but I do trust the numerous reviews out there, and they all agree that it is a good bike and provides good ride quality and comfort. However, Cannondale did design the Cannondale 13 from the ground up, and it does not resemble the Cat 12 at all. It also has drop seat states, which is now a popular bicycle design due to apparent improvement in comfort. Now, which one would I choose? Well, I would still choose a 12 because it just looks better in my opinion. And personally, I don't like the welds, which is not as smooth as, uh, smooth as a 12. Also, even though the reviews agree that the 13 is a good bike, one thing that seems to be missing in these written reviews is the fun factor, which was more apparent in the reviews for the 12. Now, what further complicates all of this is that the 105 group set was just updated last year and the CAT 13 only sports this newer version. And this newer version, yes, it's a lot better than the previous iteration of the 105 group set, which the Canon, Canon, the CAT 12 used before. So then, would you choose the 12 or the 13? Looks over technology? 
Well, I will leave that to you. There you have it. I just gave you five reasons for why as a beginner I selected the Cat 12. Thank you very much for watching and I see you on the next video.